Right, so if you have read and understood, considering your surgical pathology station, kindly tell me, after reading the stem, what are the differential diagnoses that you'll consider for this particular patient? Yes, um, I'll consider um, giant cell arthritis, okay. transit ischemic attack, then uh, cerebrovascular uh, accident, stroke. Yes, yes. Then Why I also... You... Yes, yes, please. Then I also consider the possibility of um, a thrombus affecting the blood supply to the superficial temporal uh, artery. Okay. What are the predisposing factors which uh, determine that patient could be suffering from joint cell arthritis? Yes. Uh, it's more common in females and then uh, patients that are uh, older than uh, 50 years and yes. also is an autoimmune and uh, Con is a, co a condition that is not really is a idiopathic uh, condition. Yes. And then um, patients that are also exposed to smoking are also at uh, risk. And family history. Family history. Is there any gene involved? Any genetic the role of any ge genetics in this condition? Uh, I'll come back to that. Okay. Can you please tell me uh, if you, how would you confirm your diagnosis? Yes, to um, confirm my diagnosis, it's an histologic uh, diagnosis, but the history and uh, physical examination will also help. This uh, a biopsy from the superficial temporal artery. It's going how to show. How conclusive is the biopsy that is taken? How conclusive? Yes, how, how conclusive is it? Is it 100% conclusive that you will uh, confirm your diagnosis? On the on the basis of the result of biopsy, or no, no, yes. it's not. Yes, please tell me. Yes, the biopsy we percent yes. Is we help, help to rule out other possible uh, differential diagnoses to be able to know that it's uh, vasculitis affecting the superficial, um, temporal artery causing the symptoms in the patient, the giant cell tumors. Yes. And it's, um, by any way, it's 50% conclusive. It's, it's not 100% conclusive. But it will definitely help you in ruling out other conditions that you're uh, considering as a, as a differential. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you please tell me, once you've made your diagnosis, what are the treatment alternatives that can be offered to this patient? Yes, the treatment um, that will be offered to the patient includes a uh, use of um, a steroid to for the patient, and then also um, and also one can also use some um, anti and um, cytotoxic uh, agent if there is no response to 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 that and uh, to steroid in the patient, and also lifestyle modification. Patients should avoid the uh, alcohol and smoking that could precipitate uh, or worsen the symptoms in that. Can you tell me, uh, considering the diagnosis uh, joint cell arthritis, why does it lead to transient loss of vision? Yes, the transient loss of uh, vision is due to affectation of the ophthalmic uh, Involvement. Uh, artery. Involvement, okay. Yes. Uh, all right. What is one single blood test that can be that can be done, which signifies that a patient can can be suffering from joint cell arthritis? Uh, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, which would elevated, be elevated elevated sedimentation yeah. rate. Yes. Can you tell me what is the pathology behind joint cell arthritis? Yes. The the there is an inflammation of the vasculitis involving the arteries of uh, the superficial uh, temporal artery and some other artery, uh, branches of the external carotid uh, artery. So as a result of the inflammation, there is a reduction in the blood flow through yes. the artery, which now causes symptoms of uh, headache, uh, pain, 
and then also jaw uh, claudication in the patient. And if there is uh, at, 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 uh, at what level this uh, inf information is taking place or what uh, all this proce process is taking place at what level? Yes, it's both the uh, more commonly with the uh, the clinical uh, adventitia of the vessel. Yes. And then there is involvement of infiltration of which cell? There's infiltration of the uh, both the lymphocyte and the macrophages involving yes. the blood and infiltrating the blood vessel. Yes, in particular T cells. And okay. there is also involvement of CD4 and CD8. CD4 more than CD8. Wait, okay, okay, what happens then? These multinucleated giant cells, they infiltrate. Then what happens? What do they do? Yes, the, there is a, it's going to lead to inflammation and then yes. also there will be stenosis in the lumen of the blood vessel, yes. causing reduction in the blood flow to the through the artery and then and also causing symptoms in the um, structure supplied by the, uh, by the artery, usually oh. affecting the lateral side, the temporary yes. region of the edge. Okay, since uh, the treatment you said is... Uh, you told me the treatment, it's uh, giving a steroid. So what are the precautions that you have to keep in your mind? Yes, I'm going to cancel the patient that she's on steroid. Yes. So she should, she, should, uh, she should not stop the drug. And yes. if she's in hospital, she should tell her doctors that she's taking yes. steroid and go with her card. Then what I also tell her complications some complications can, that yes. will occur. Yes. Like uh, she could have uh, osteoporosis, she could Very have uh, EVN of the femoral head. And then also, yes. what is AVN? Uh, uh, do not AVN is a avascular necrosis, very good, which yes, could affect her. Then she could also have symptoms of uh, Cushing, uh, Cushing uh, syndrome and then yes. elevated uh, okay. BP and then impaired blood glucose. And if, as she, a result of taking, if she stops uh, taking steroids suddenly, yes, this she can, can have addition, addition crisis, so she should very not stop. Good. Yes, which uh, what are the complications that can result uh, because of this Edisonian crisis? Yes, the patient can lose consciousness, can be in uh, comatose, into, yes. hyponatremia, and then hyperkalemia and uh, um, hypotension. Okay, can you please tell me what is the mechanism by which uh, this steroid cause osteoporosis? Yes, the steroid. Um, um reduces the um causes injury to the uh, the osteocytes yes, and then direct we, uh, inhibition stimulates of osteoblast. osteoblast and then also stimulate yes. uh, osteoclast to cause this bone osteolysis yes then it also causes bone yes then what? it increases the excretion of um, calcium in the absorption reduces in the absorption of yes. calcium so this reduces uh, the calcium content in the bone. How it affects the renal system? Then it also increases the abs uh, the reduces the retina absor reabsorption reduces, of calcium. Yes, reduces the then, calcium. So that there is okay. more loss of uh, calcium uh, in the urine. Another another side effect of uh, long term use of steroid is pathological factors sure. that can occur. Can you name few other conditions which can also result or which can also cause pathological fracture? Okay, if a patient has an osteoporosis, then uh, there is a. Told me this. Yes. Yes. Other than then, the, other than this, can you mention few other conditions in which patient can present with pathological fracture? Okay, if there is a bone infection, osteomyelitis, chronic osteomyelitis affecting the bone, if there is a metastasis to the to the bone. Patient bone. can have a, okay. yes. a pathologic fracture. Then there is one condition called Peggy's. Disease. Then Paget disease, then yes. rickets also can cause um, uh, yeah, pathologic uh, fracture in the patient. And, and then osteogenesis myeloma. imperfecta. Very good. very good. Okay. Yes, very good. Good. Thank you.